Good morning, Kettle Kids, and welcome to your Thursday, April 29th. Today is National Zipper Day. Uh, the zipper is a really interesting invention. It uh, dates back. It actually took three different guys to uh, bring it out and come to fruition, something really uh, majorly useful. First off, this guy by the name of uh, Whitcomb Judson, uh, an inventor who decided to make the initial idea for a zipper to help uh, lace up a boot. It was more of a lacing system. It did involve uh, drawstrings before that had the iconic clasp interlocking system. And so he came up with this idea, and basically it just didn't really go anywhere. It was used on a couple of boots that he designed, and that was basically it. And then this other guy came along uh, by the name of Elias Howe, who ended up uh, improving upon it and created the separable fastener. Uh, so you can see it here in this new design, but again, it was used for securing boots together. Uh, and it actually makes me kind of amused to think about, like, you know, what if separable fastener was the name that took off in the end? Uh, because, you know, can you imagine somebody being like, hey, separable fastener it uh, to tell you to, you know, quiet down. Anyways, uh, then came along the final uh, individual to push it into the mainstream of society by the name of uh, Gideon Sunbeck, who actually took the zipper to uh, and improved it much so to the point that we would recognize this as the modern zipper and then brought it to the world's fair the uh 1893 chicago world's fair really a big deal people gathered from all around the world to see all kinds of inventions and new things and gadgets and technology it was kind of like a technology expo uh these world's fairs were this really huge deal for us and you can see how, you know the kind of crowds that it attracted at this point with covid restrictions those kind of crowds give me a little anxiety, but man, that's a lot of people packed in right there. But anyways, obviously zippers have taken off and become a major part of basically every piece of clothing. Lots of clothing is basically built around the idea of you get this on by zipping and unzipping it. Uh, and it's become an iconic part of fashion as well, no matter uh, how big or small those zippers become. Uh, and on top of that, they've become so useful that we even uh, turn that into part of the culture of how we speak. I talked about it just a second ago that if you're being really loud, somebody wants to quiet down, they might even say zip it. So, you know, zip. Uh, anyways, let's uh, put our hands over our hearts, find the flag in the room, and please rise for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. All right, kids, let's talk about food today. Today uh, on our menu, we have, excuse me for this, turkey sandwich as an option along with a uh, chicken patty with roll, whipped potatoes, broccoli, pineapple, and milk. Talking about what's going on with the weather, well, you guys can already look outside and notice that it is pretty dark and gray outside because it is uh, going to be raining today. It has been raining and it will be raining for a little while here. Uh, I'm not quite sure when it's going to let up, but probably not until mid-afternoon. Uh, we're looking at a high of only about 49 degrees, so this is going to be a pretty cool one. Tomorrow is going to be even chillier, a high of only 47 degrees, and still a decent chance for rain. So that cloud cover is going to stick around. We're going to get a really low dip in temperatures overnight on Friday night, and then boom, that high pressure pushes in uh, Saturday morning, and we are looking at a uh, jump in temperature up to the high of 53, and then Sunday all the way up to 57 with the rain coming back in around uh, Sunday into the beginning of next week. But at least uh, Saturday will be a pretty nice day in terms of having some sunlight. So, you know, get out there on Saturday and enjoy the sun, bit of sun that we're going to get here in the spring wet weather. Anyways, let's uh, finish out our announcement, the Kendall Mission Statement. The mission of the Kendall Central School District is to provide the knowledge, skills, values, and attitudes needed by students to live responsibly and to compete successfully in today's and tomorrow's world. Well, guys, i got something special for you. I'm going to leave you with a uh, little GIF animation of how the zipper works just to see what it looks like on the inside of that little clasp because I know it's been bothering you. So here you go.